I tried to make a dish using really heavy mushrooms, but unfortunately, I just wasn't strong enough. Poor cashier, look them in their minimum wage eyes and say, I'd like a McGangbang. Sorry, I'm aware this is supposed to be a comedy night, but um, I'm not one of those guys who plays by the rules. You know what I mean? Like, you- she didn't need a husband. She didn't need a fairy godmother. No, Cinderella needed child protective services. I put that on people uh, that are watching that's so bad it would i'd have been standing here like that oh hey thanks so much for watching us again this is our third week man three weeks in now uh hope you're all well hope you're having a good time don't forget if you can share 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 the live stream now to at least five of your friends uh that, that'll be very good bobby's back Bobby! She's, um, she's, uh, Bobby Sutton is Robbie Sutton Clark. She's changed her profile. Hi, you're all right. Hope those are things all right from Texas. Uh, yeah, please leave a comment. Uh, we've got the caption competition. We've got some great comedians in the, uh, in the hen house tonight. And, uh, we've got some breaking news just in about the budget. I, I was just going to do this, I think, and say we've got some, uh, Breaking, uh, breaking news. Where are you? There's the avenue! So we're going over now to see our news hound, Av Singh, who's got some news about this week's budget. Av! Hi Steve. This week in Rishi Stenak's budget, we discovered he supported the economy to the tune of £280 million pounds wow. during this pandemic. That's an incredible stimulus package, Av. But where's he getting the money from, Steve? I haven't a Scooby-Doo, mate. No idea. He's getting it from quantitative easing and other measures through the Bank of England. The Bank of England? Yep. Yeah, so... But... Uh, we're basically borrowing it from ourselves. But how are we going to pay that money back, Ab? Um, I don't know. Thanks very much, Ab. The thing with the budget is, I have yeah, It really is not that important. It's not that important. It will be important in a year and a half's time, possibly, hopefully, if things are going the way we hope they are. But at the moment, it's not important. They're just doing it, throwing away money. You know, people used to say to me, before lockdown, people used to say to me, they say, man, you've got too much time on your hands. <laughs> yeah, well, who's laughing now? It's what I want to do. Nobody. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, thing is, I'm I'm working more now f- for no money than I am than I was before lockdown. Do you know what I mean? 
Go figure. But what what an interesting week it's been. What an interesting week it's been. Uh, but then, of course, this morning we've had we've had we've had we've had the one percent NHS rise. Now, if you think if you're if you're sitting there thinking, oh, one percent's not enough. One percent is not enough for our caring NHS staff. I'm going to say this to you. We've done our bit. We stood out there in the cold every Thursday night and we clapped our hands. Don't come here now asking for 1%. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, 1% is not enough, not enough, not much money, 1%. Fuck off, right? Do you know half of the NHS budget that this government provides goes towards staffing costs? I know. If you give these people... A 1% increase, that's £500 million every year. They've had theirs. We've given them the clap. £500 million. 1%. Nadine Doris, Nadine Doris, Government Minister, says... The government cannot afford to give the NHS staff in England a pay rise of more than 1%. Thank you. £500 million. Pounds. You've been conned. We've all been conned. Yeah, we've all been conned. This... This doesn't put food in children's bellies. This doesn't put a roof over people's heads. This was bullshit. 1%. 500 million pounds to give it to the NHS staff that have saved our families' lives. 1%. NHS, 900, 900 NHS staff died of COVID because they were looking after COVID patients on our behalf. £500 million a year. Nadine Doris says, ah, this government cannot afford to give NHS workers 1%. Of course we can't. Let's all go out there now and clap. That's all they need. Let's go out now. Come on. Let's go outside and clap. <laughs> 500 million pounds a year. We cannot afford it. People, wake up. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking we wasted 37 billion pounds on a world-beating track, trace and isolate system. 37 billion pounds. World-beating track and trace system. Ta-da! Do you know, actually, a billion is a thousand million. The government cannot afford to give the NHS staff in England a pay rise, Nadine Doris. 37,000 million pounds. Spaffed up the wall. On a world beating track and tray system. 37,000 million pounds gone. And they killed people with that track and tray system because it was not good. It was not fit for purpose. Do you know when you went in and you scanned your barcode and it was meant to warn people? Didn't work. Didn't work. 37,000 million pounds. We've all been conned. We've all been conned. But if it makes you feel better, go outside tonight and clap. Or remember this. Remember this. Next time you put that X. What else has been going on? Oh, 
Harry and Meghan. Oh, my God. Oh, tell me more. Harry and fucking Meghan. What's all that about? This is like all week. People are going, oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to say? Harry and Meghan. Who are they? Right, I, I have never met these people. I am unlikely to meet them in the future. They have, they mean as much to me as the family three doors down the road. I have as much interest in them as well, nothing, nothing. Oh yes, they, they eat, sleep and shit like me. That's about it. I have no interest in a family three doors down. I have no interest in two people in love. I don't know. I, 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 to say I don't, I'm going to watch it, obviously. But like, I have, an, I have an interest now because there's this conflict. There's like the one, it's like David and Goliath, isn't it? It's like one side against the other side. But we all know about the other side. The other side through history really haven't got a very big track record. We got, oh, living 99 year old Prince Philip, God rest his soul. Oh, sorry. That's not meant to happen until Saturday. But like, <laughs> he's 99. The racist is 99. Two years ago, remember? He ran some, he had a car accident at 97, driving his car at 97. Nobody cares what they do. Nobody cares what they do. Prince Andrew. Nobody cares what he does. Why are people the first, no, no the first the press make about Harry and Sparkles, and they did nothing, nothing about sweaty pizza dough balls, Andrew. It's, oh, it's all smoke and mirrors. That's all it's about. They're playing with your heads, people. Don't be led into a trap. I'm going to watch it. You're going to watch it. It'll be interesting. But it's the, the, the power of the press. The power of the press. The press is not news anymore. It's entertainment. Facebook paid Australia a billion dollars, which is half that in this country, I think, uh, because news is entertainment. News is not news. Facebook is not news. We've all been conned. So, what I want you to do this week is go out and enjoy yourself. Just look. No, don't go out because you've got to stay in. You've got to stay in. Don't go out yet. You can't go out yet. When can we go out? Boris, when can we go out? Tell me, when can we go out? From the 8th of March, 29th of March, then the 12th of April, the 6th of May, and the 17th of May. We'll begin no earlier than the 21st of June. So that's it. So you know when to come back, right? We can go out. I think the, the magic day I'm looking for is the 21st of June, I think. But you never know. Kids go back on. Kids, don't like that expression. A kid is the offspring of a goat. Children go back to school um, Monday. We'll see what happens there. Hey, we've got some great comedians for you tonight, people. We have some... I, well, I'm saying we've got some great comedians. They've told me they're great. It's up to you to decide. Um, okay, so I'm going to go for some comments now. If you want to comment, that's very good. Um, there was one I noticed during my little rant there. Uh, uh, yes, this one. I can't read it, though. I don't know what it says. No, eBay. eBay, Bobby. I got them from eBay. So, if, 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 if. Anybody wants to come into the, if anybody wants to come into the, come into the, come into the garden, Maud. If anybody wants to come into the studio, let me know. I'll, I'll speak to anyone. But we're going to go to our first comedian now. Uh, our first comedian is in Wales. Uh, not like Jonah, not like Jonah. No, the actual place. Um, oh, Bobby, Bobby's in America. We've got, we've got, we've got, we've got people uh, from America. We get to officially remove our mask on April the 9th. Our magic day is April 9th. I'm curious as to who calculates the April. Every day is a magic day when I'm in town, Bobby. Every day. So let's go over to see, to see. That's the class I was in when I was a child. <laughs> Kyle Davis. Hello. All right. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. He's back there. Right there. I go. Hey. Here you go. Hello. All right. You all right, Kyle? How's your week been? All right. Yeah. Can't complain. You know. Oh, go on. Complain. Uh, I don't think I can. Other than working from home means I now have to write my milk on uh, my name on my own milk in the fridge. Oh. Stop the wife stealing it. That, yeah. So, that, that was it. I, I've got very tall bottles of milk and, and I write my name right at the top. Uh, uh, and uh, apparently my wife says that's pasteurised. Hey. <laughs> I'm here all week, ladies and gentlemen. So, <laughs> tis tis good. Uh, so uh, that's it. You 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 write your name on the milk this week. That's it. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> Highlights. <laughs> why not? Why not? Okay, Carl, are you ready to go? Yes. No, come back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, first time in the hen house for you this evening. It's Kyle Davis. Good evening. Um. A little bit about myself. I was brought up on an estate. Sleeping on the bonnet was no fun. Growing up, we had eight home security systems. Yeah, it was extremely alarming. I got into trouble with my family recently as I broke etiquette at a, fa a family party by bringing along a giant fake model of my father. Apparently, it was a massive faux pas. For the party, our daughter wanted one of them mermaid cakes, but then spent the whole party complaining that it tasted fishy and there were bits of aerial sticking out of it. My wife asked me to marry her, which was a good thing, as her father told me there was no way on earth I was going to ask her. My wife and I took boxing lessons in Philadelphia for our honeymoon. The marriage had a rocky start. The second largest city in Denmark has appeared in the centre of our road. I can't believe it. Our house in the middle of our street. Madness. This guy walked up to me the other day and went, Hello, my name is Kyle. And I said, you have the wrong impression of me. I recently won an award for the top recycler in our street. Our neighbours went green with envy. Charlie Brown, my two favourite drugs. I recently found out friends have been doing cocaine right under my nose. I thought my parrot was lying to me, so I had to give it a polygraph test. The police have invented a system to see if you've been with a prostitute. It's a brothelizer test. As a vegan, I'm learning martial arts using only my feet. It's called tofu. I've been matching up dance types with Pixar films. The jig is up. I really wanted to remember the title of the Rolling Stones song that has a choir at the start of it. But then you can't always get what you want. I shot a laser gun in a church. It went, pew, pew, pew. I once worked as a campanologist in purgatory. Hell's bells. I've just got back from the doctors. I keep hearing a Belgian boy detective and his dog in my ears. She said it was the worst case of tintinitis she'd ever seen. I saw Midua recently eating a frozen dessert. Oh, Vianetta. Is Radio Gaga a, a, a station for babies? If revenge is sweet and a dish best served cold, can't we all just agree that revenge is ice cream? If Spider-Man bit you, would you become Spider-Spider-Man-Man? I'm writing a horror film where the zip from a pair of jeans goes around killing people. I'm calling it The Fly. My personal trainer's recommended yeah. my personal trainer has recommended squatting to improve my fitness. So I've now moved into an abandoned house with 63 other people. I recently kept waking up singing Do I Diddy Diddy. 
I had man Fred man flu. The other day I walked by a field of cattle and one of them was wearing a wimple. I thought to myself, holy cow. I've invented a board game where you have to collect metatarsals and phalanges and put them together. I'm going to call it The Game is Afoot. And I leave you with this one. I've recently been investigating which designer dogs have been imitating roosters. I know for a fact that the cockapoodle do. And that's my time. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed. Hey, I was hiding there. <laughs> I I did. I enjoyed. Uh, Bobby certainly enjoyed. She particularly liked Spider Man Squared. Spider Spider Man Man. Spider, Spider, I like Spider -Man that Man. way of throwing it though. I may steal it. <laughs> yeah, I think she'd let you. Because she's, yeah. she's giving you the clap. It's all about the clap this week, isn't it? Really? Yeah. There you go. Can I just check with you? Because I'm not a religious person, but I did laugh at uh, at the cow. A wimple, is that the hat or is that the... It's the cost, like the costume, it's the, the it's... uniform and then wears. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew it was something like that. I just wanted to make sure that I was laughing for the right reason, really. That is, I worried that I right. got it wrong. <laughs> oh no 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 no! I'm not I'm not very religious, thank God. Which is which is which is you know that is the main thing. That is the main thing. My my favourite cow joke. It's a very old joke. This is like this is from the when you were at school and you had them written on the lollipop sticks. Which is um, what's brown and comes out of. Oh, what's brown and rings and comes out of cows. Do you not know that? Oh, that's brilliant. Dung. <laughs> honestly i'm here a week you, you, you could buy an ice lolly and, and have the jokes written on the sticks they're brilliant yeah yeah ah good hey Carl, have you seen any of our captions um i've R seen uh, the, uh, yeah i've seen the pictures i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna see if i can share the screen i'm not sure if i can it might all go horribly wrong so at least if you're here you can help me out uh yes ah there you go there's there's one if i go on to big if I make that bigger, does that work? A little. <laughs> anything, this sex, you got anything for that? <laughs> yeah, this tax is squeaky clean. Hey, it's very good. If anybody else wants to comment on our captions, uh, our caption content, it's on our, our Facebook page. All right. Um, have you got any more or should I leave it there? Um, that one as well. Um, Let me go why are our assholes on our nose? Sorry, you have to do that again. I was talking over you. I'm good at that. Oh, that's okay. Um, that one is, why are our assholes on our nose? <laughs> I make balloon animals. Uh, and Bobby does, I think. Uh, oh, anything for that one? Um, how did you get out of official duties? <laughs> <laughs> my my, my favourite one is, is if you're going to tell a fucking lie, tell a fucking big one. Uh, that, that, that would be mine. Are you, are you sure one. you'd want to play aeroplanes? <laughs> oh remind me to do my airplane lost in the fog at the end of the show somebody right <laughs> and the, and the, and our next and our next caption is this one this one's very difficult this is but this is my 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 signet one where's your masks hey that's all you need that is all that's excellent I, I don't know how to i don't know how to get rid of that and bring you into full screen so i'm going to try and do it like oh man i've got a double i've got a dual display to make things easier but obviously not stop sharing it should do it shouldn't it there you go hey thanks so much kyle did you enjoy yourself yes loved him it I'd you can only say back. yes can't you that's what well, that's my next point really please come back uh which is which is good uh and we'll we'll see you again soon Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, give it up for Kyle Davis and check out his podcasts on Facebook. All right. Yes. Thank you very much, Kyle. Thank you. Take care. Yes. Bye. Bye. Oh, I cut him off in mid, in mid, in mid, in mid, in mid speakage. Um, I, I don't know if I can bring back that um, the swan thing, but Bobby's done a really good, a really good one for the swans, uh, which was. Oh, it's gone. It's, I'll have to look for it now. Bobby, you keep writing too many stuff. I can't read and speak at the same time. All right. Uh, oh, oh my goodness gracious me. What's that? We've got, we've got another th new flash. Where are you? That's behind you. We're going over now to the news hound on the street. Av Singh. Av, what do you got for us, mate? 
there's a right old song and dance going with that Harry and Megan, Steve. What do you mean, Av? Yeah, they're, they're going to be in an opera on Sunday. <laughs> no, Av, that's an interview. Never heard of that dance. Thanks very much, Av. So Av will be with us uh, shortly, or longly, or in, in, a, in a while, I think. But we're going to go to... Uh, I'm going to say this because I can't see them uh, on the thing at the bottom. We're going to go to Newcastle to see... Uh, to see uh, Fathia. If Fathia's there. Uh, if Fathia's there, we could go and see Fathia. Uh, but uh, Seripus Pa, Seripus Peter. Uh, no, okay. Well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go and see somebody else then. Oh, ho, ho, ho. because we could do this and go. Boo! Hello. We could wait. We could wait. Or, or ah, uh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Is it my turn? I was talking about you. <laughs> Sorry, I went to the toilet. I didn't know. Sorry. Oh, don't say that we're live now. Don't share information like that. <laughs> hello. Hey, oh, hello, you're right. I was practicing your name, uh, Fathia Saripas Peter. Yay! You got it correctly. Oh, <laughs> do you know, it, it is. People say I used to have too much time on my hands, but I, I have been practicing your name all day, to be fair. And to be honest, you might be the first foreigner who pronounced it correctly the first time. Hey, did you call me a foreigner? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I should be the foreigner here. Sorry, my bad. No, I like that. I like that. I, you know, I, in my in my in my world, everyone is the same. That's my world. Oh, uh, okay. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. So you can call me. You can call me anything you like. Is basically what I'm saying. Uh, in China, they call foreigner alien. So yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I get. I get that. Yeah, oh so God. so sorry to call you foreigner, not alien. <laughs> oh, hey, my mother's, convi my mother's convinced I'm an alien and you'd think she'd know the difference, really. So, yeah. Hey, tell everyone where you are, because I know where you are, because I just said. I am in Nottingham. Um, I said, I said, yeah, I I'm originally Newcastle. from... Huh? Sorry? I think I said Newcastle, but it is Nottingham, it is, isn't it? Yes, yeah. It's where the um, Robin Hood used to live, but now we can only smell weed in Nottingham. <laughs> mm -hmm. have, you got, like, have you got farms there? I, no, but if I go to the park, that's all I can oh. smell. Yeah, I, 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 I'm with you. I mean, I only go out for an hour a day. Yeah, like, <laughs> and got home stoned already? <laughs> and, no, and, and, I'm, I, and people walk past and, and, and I'm, I'm smelling and I'm going, what's that? Fun. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what. Uh, <laughs> hey, I, I, why not? Why not? The, the, the world changed last year and we're still trying to catch up, I think. So, yeah. How long have you been doing comedy? I've been doing it for some time, like five, six years, but very on and off. Like, uh -huh. like there are years where where I didn't do anything. But I, to be fair, I started long time ago, then I stopped because of work and because I didn't feel comfortable enough. And then I always come back trying to kill myself and then <laughs> stop again. <laughs> but then, you know, I thought like, I just want to give it a try until I really give up. <laughs> oh, that's very positive that is yeah very, not very killing positive. myself yet i think that's you know if you can go through life not killing yourself you're doing something right yeah 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 uh, hopefully i would i would think and hey have you been I... looking at the oh, i'm talking over you again i'm good at it like i said carry on okay and that's what another thing that i'm going to talk about later tonight oh. yeah continue yeah sorry Oh, you, were saying? Sense. you just told me to continue. That's brilliant. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. That's the trouble. I could never have an argument with somebody because if they ask me a rhetorical question, I can't even give you the, the answer to it. It's 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 bad. Oh. I forget things. I forget things. As you get older, you, two things go. Apparently, the first thing that goes is your memory, and I can't remember what the second thing is. This is it. This is like this is quality Friday night comedy. This. So. <laughs> and to tell Matthew. you the truth, since last year I don't remember anything apart from I'm at home. That's all I can remember. I know. It's, yeah. It's, it's, 
but but hey, we've got dates. We've got dates. Do you know what the dates are again? From the eighth of March, twenty ninth of March, then the twelfth of April, the sixth of May, and the seventeenth of May. We'll begin no earlier than the twenty first of June. <laughs> so that's what we've got to look forward to. Okay, eighth of March, coming soon. <laughs> Which is Monday. That's it. That's, it's Monday. All the children will be going back to school. And then on Tuesday, the government will close it again. And the parents will be free. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for doing this. I'm really looking forward to your set. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, I'm still nervous because I've got to introduce you again and press the button at the same time. <laughs> I have to multitask. Ladies and gentlemen, first time <laughs> in the head house, we have Fathia Seri Puspita. Oh, wrong one. Oh, see, so close. There you go. My bad. You got the name right. It's just I was missing. <laughs> but yay, good job. So hello, everybody. My name is Fathia and welcome to my bedroom. You know, I am Indonesian. And as a Southeast Asian woman, this is the first time I welcome white people to my bedroom without any advance payment. So uh, I recently discovered that I have a severe people pleaser personality, like any people pleasers here. Okay. I cannot hear you, but you know that you have to say yes or raise your hand now. Otherwise, later you feel guilty. Yeah, I like. I know that it's always difficult for me to say no to any friend's invitation, which is weird, because it's easy for me to find that friend annoying. Yeah. And I find it hard to tell my cousins that the wedding dress that she chose does not compliment her. I mean, she looks so happy with her choice. So I thought I'm just gonna let her be ugly and during lockdown i realized that i feel i can get really uneasy disagreeing with facebook friend whom i never met might not ever meet and i found that very pathetic i mean i don't even know that person i should not bother about his opinion his or her opinion and if you ask me, why do I accept friend requests from strangers on Facebook? Because I get a lot of lovely people like the comedians from Facebook. Although I do realize that that is how ISIS recruit their jihadi brides. Yeah, so the point is, if I don't know the person, I should not take their comment personally. So me feeling uneasy, uncomfortable, anxious, just seeing and disagreeing, disagreeing to comments from strangers that I never met, will never meet, and could be a serial killer, by the way. It's like I get jealous when Ellen DeGeneres got married with her, with her girlfriend, and I'm not even a lesbian. I mean, this feeling is totally wrong. So during this lockdown, I discovered all of this. I even got the book, How to Cure These People-Pleasing Disease. Because I realized during lockdown, I have time to reflect for myself and time to argue with people on Facebook. So I'm going to give you an example of a comment on Facebook from a real friend this time that annoys me. And it's just so stupid that annoys me. So my husband is Italian and I used to live with his family in Italy for a few months while he, he's in the UK. They don't speak English and the only Italian I spoke at the time was non parlo italiano, which means I don't speak Italian. And non urlare per favore, which means stop shouting please. They could be really loud. But, so I had to learn Italian, which I find difficult. For example, I have to memorize the gender of each object. I mean, assigning gender to objects to me is useless for two reasons. One, the process of assigning gender is not logical. For example, umbrella is feminine, is masculine. I mean, how can umbrella be masculine? 
most macho guy would rather be dead, struck by lightning, rather than be seen using an umbrella. Second, it doesn't serve any purpose. We're not making any umbrella happy by making the masculine. Would we make a pretty lace pink umbrella happy by calling it masculine? I mean, it's like, would you call a drag queen who's wearing an evening gown, stiletto, got her hair done, makeup, makeup on, even fake eyelashes longer than peacock's tail, sir? I mean, I would. I would love to see what happened to you if you do that. That's what. So it doesn't make sense. But anyway, um, I cannot complain. I just have to swallow it and accept it. So I learn Italian and I post on Facebook about my struggle learning Italian. And one of my friend, real friend, comments, Italian language is easy. It's just a bunch of expression. Um, I know this friend. I know she doesn't speak Italian. I know she only knows Mamma Mia. And I know now that her comment is rubbish. I mean, imagine if I do that. If my mother-in-law asks me if I want pasta, I go, Mamma Mia. If I want more pasta, I go, Mamma Mia. If she put too many pasta on my plate, I go, Mamma Mia. I mean, if I do that, my mother-in-law will soon go, Mamma Mia, here we go again. Bye, my daughter-in-law, idiot. I mean, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, but I, of course, I didn't write anything back to her on Facebook. I mean, I'm a people pleaser. And we, people pleasers, don't like confrontation. Instead, what I do is I let everybody know how stupid she is by making her my comedy material. I'm Fatia. You've been a good audience. Thank you very much. And you've been a great comedian, Fatia. That's fine. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Mamma mia. I, you know, whenever I hear him say Mamma mia, I, I do think of the ABBA film, really, and thinking, why did they do that? <laughs> I Remember? love that film. No, you do, and lots of other people do. I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm an enigma, apparently. Ah, I mean, I find it very cheesy, but somehow I like it. No, that, sometimes that's good, isn't it? It's, it's nice to watch a film that just, you know, it's no brainer. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. I'm, yeah, I'm good with no brainers. I, 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 <laughs> I'll tell you. Do you know? I actually got you out of the toilet early, didn't I? I was. I, we were meant to be going to uh, Los Angeles instead of uh, Newcastle. I said it again, no, Nottingham, not Nottingham. Exactly. exactly. I mean, I don't know what happened in Newcastle, but people here, we have stabbings and they're not going to like it hearing you keep mentioning Newcastle. No, that's right. I'm sure nothing goes, uh, you wouldn't stab a Newcastle person because they never wear shirts. That's very sort of. Ah, uh, interesting. Uh, never been there. I would oh, be afraid. It's a lovely there. place. Is a anything, it? anything north of Watford's great. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I used to live in Watford before moving to Nottingham. Interesting. Oh, Interesting yes. you said that. Yeah, <laughs> but I, you were I, right. I apologise. No, you, you want, were right. Have a... <laughs> yeah, I think, I... well, it's only what I hear. I, I pick things up. Um, but I've got penicillin, so that's all right. Do <laughs> you want to have a go at the uh, caption competition? Yeah. Oh, let's try. Let's try. I have to do the, <clears throat> the screen share. Uh, uh, uh. I'm getting better at it. Somebody's already left a comment on the um, on on the Facebook page. If you go to Head Nights, people, you can leave your comments. I'm not going to read out what that person said because they've put a rude word in, and I'm going to I'm going to wait until after ten o'clock. <laughs> so, <laughs> have you got anything for this one? Okay, so kids, these are the poses that you should not be doing when your parents are at home. Yes. Wait, wait till they go out. <laughs> so, uh, do you want the, the next one? Yeah. Uh, well, I, th <laughs> I, I could only think that Boris Johnson is sort of like trying to seduce Prince Harry to do a uh, Titanic scene with him. That's all I can think of. Ah, that, yeah, that's, and, that, that, yes, that's, I like that. I like, I forgot the name of the song, but if he's singing that song, it would work. I know what My heart will go on. There yes. it will. <laughs> yeah, forever. Yep, good, right? <laughs> and next one. And this must be the 
the campaign or promotional poster for Swansea. Oh, <laughs> I think that's my favorite Swansea. Yeah. Tourism and, poster and we, for Swansea, yeah. We, Kyle, Kyle came from Swansea. He's gonna be, he's gonna be <laughs> chewing on his, chewing on his leek. He is. <laughs> hey, that's X. Thank you very much. I, I'm really gonna try and stop sharing now. Uh, You're that's welcome. what um, my, I, I really, uh, I've got. Do you know I've got dual screen and it's just doing me head in. Hey, there we go. Look at you in in in. There we go. I prefer it this way. <laughs> Fa uh, Fathia, will you come back? Um, yes, possibly. Love to. Yeah, yeah, love to. Hey, I tell you what, though, I'll do this deal for you. If we're still doing it live streaming, then you can come back. But let's say that the date is June or May, and I can, I can do, I can do comedy gigs in a real theatre with real live audiences. Newcastle is a miles away, but but Nottingham is only an hour away. So Nottingham to 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 Redditch for. Would love to. Yeah. That'd be lovely. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to say something? I didn't know. No. no I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Fanny. Fanny. Oh, see, Sarah E. Pospina. Yay! Yay! Hey, do I do that? See, I can't press the wrong. Bye. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. I've got to remove you. There you go. Right. That was lovely. That's uh, Fanny. Sarah E. Pospina. Now. Uh, I've had a word with Av. He's going to come into the studio and talk to us because he's fed up sending us his breaking news reports. And then we're going to go to Hayley Hackett because I, 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 I removed... Anyway, it doesn't matter. My bad. Right. Uh, what are the comments going on? What we got? Uh... See, yeah, I agree with you, Bobby. I found the movie to be very cheesy, but I'm a devoted ABBA fan since childhood. Yeah, 1976, they won the Eurovision Song Contest in Brighton. Two years before I was born. Right. Av. How are you, my friend? Yay. Um, I'm okay. How are you? I, 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 I'm a bit stressy because I've, I've got a dual screen set up today because uh, I, I brought a robotic fisting arm. But are we live, Steve? I don't think you'd be, want to be saying that live. I mean, I wouldn't be comfortable you telling me that on a personal level either. I I don't know. I just it's like one of those robotic arms that hold that, that they've got like a. It doesn't matter. I'll send you a photo. I'll send you a photograph of it. So what you been? Okay. What, anything going on? What's what's your favourite story in the news this oh, week? There's been a few things, hasn't there? You may, we mentioned Prince Prince Philip. Um, he's been into casual hospital. Racist. Yes. Well, come on. He's more than casual. He's a professional, isn't he? He's a professional. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I, do, I do it for a living, mate. <laughs> yeah. um, he's got, he went to, he's been in hospital for a while now, and he's, he's uh, had an operation on his heart. And what the doctors were shocked to find that he actually had one. <laughs> and uh, and I, I know you mentioned earlier earlier on, uh, and it's not common knowledge. You know when he when he um, tried to knock over that woman. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. He had a flashback to Diana. Don't don't. No, no, because I was I was thinking the same thing. Like, because I think right, and I and why are you making me say this now? Right, because of this interview thing, the palace want to put something in the way, so either that it, it, they don't show it, or like you know. And I reckon if if they uh, they might no, I'm not. I don't want to say it because like saying it brings you know. But it wouldn't surprise me if big news breaks tomorrow. What you think? You think he's gonna go for a drive in Paris? Yeah. Oh, if you see him driving in uh, Los Angeles, I think they'd be worried. Well, let's ask Hayley. Oh, I was going to see if you... See, look, hey, 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 Hayley is in Hi. Los Angeles. We can... I'm sorry, I just brought you in there because he said Los Angeles. <laughs> I was like looking up British news. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm American. I'm very uncultured. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why did you say uh... Los Angeles, Av? Los Angeles, that's where, don't uh, Harry and um, his missus live uh -huh. in Los Angeles? No? Yes? I don't think so. No? <laughs> I'm I not very cultured that. either. <laughs> oh, well. In America that's somewhere, Hayley. aren't they? Av, Hayley, Hayley, Av. Uh, we'll, we'll come Hello. back to our Los Angeles expert and she'll find out exactly where Harry and Meghan live 
in Beverly Hills. All right, we'll see you in a bit, Hayley. <laughs> I've dropped you right in it there, didn't I? Oh, I'm, a, I'm supposed to be a bovine reporter. I'm getting my news wrong. I don't know. So I'm, I mean, I'm um, sure somebody knows where Harry and Meghan live. Yeah. Uh, even Prince Philip will. <laughs> he'll be driving down there. <laughs> no, he'll be driving. He'll be driving. And then oh, he had, yeah. uh, we had uh, Matt Hancock. Apparently, he was looking for a Brazilian. Um. Oh, no, no, he's not. Yeah, he was. They found him. They found the Brazilian. Oh, I thought he was going to look for a Brazilian, you know, because I, I thought he's a bit of a sconner, ain't he? He's, he ain't got no balls. A bit of a what? A sconner. Sc I have no idea what a sconner <laughs> is. I, that's, that's when I was back at school. It means you you, you, you got nothing down there anyway, as in uh, hair-wise. Oh, oh, a sconner means you, you've got a, a, a hairless egg. Well, this is this is going back when I was in a kid in the black country. So, well, to be fair, when I was a kid, I had a I had a sconner. <laughs> yeah, I but I'm saying Matt, or sixteen. I'm saying Matt, and then I realized I I'm still I'm going with this one, right? I was fifteen or sixteen, and I said I said I think I got a pubic hair until I pissed through it. Oh, Steve. Too much. Too much. All right. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what too much is, is these days. But um, know, I'm saying, sconner, but. Scona, not heard of it. Yeah, I'm saying I'm saying he's a Scona because uh, he's got no balls. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that, that's and then stuff. two venereal had, uh... diseases. I'm still talking. Two venereal diseases. Walking along a cliff, one falls over and goes, "Oh, I'm a gonorrhea." <laughs> oh, Steve, <laughs> that's a, that's actually quite funny. That's quite. Thank funny. you very much. It's it's, it's 1962. Yeah, and then you mentioned it. You know, your hat, your your robot. You know, I, this Rishi Sunak is is going to be fisting fisting drag. So what? He's going to be fisting in drag. Who is Rishi Sunak? Not no, not fisting in drag. Not fisting in drag. Uh, uh, physical drag. Physical, physical. drag. Av. Physical drag. <laughs> Do you know what that means, physical drag? Because you sent me a message yesterday to tell me exactly what it was. Fis fiscal. <laughs> fiscal. Yeah, fiscal drag. Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, it's it's fiscal drag. It's right. Like, it's tax increases by a frozen threshold for April 21. Apparently, that's what you said. That's so smooth, Steve. I don't think anyone's going to notice. That. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. They, oh, they, they love get rid the of that one. We work. I know, I know. <laughs> And then you got um, sorry, mate. What, you got you know, everyone's getting a pay rise. You know, Warsaw, Warsaw councillors are giving themselves a pay rise. You live near Warsaw, don't you? Yeah, I live, I live next to it. So, so it's like I local mean, news. Yeah, they 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 must have deserved it, haven't they? I'm, I'm sure they didn't have any COVID cases, and they did great track and trace and all that bollocks, didn't they? To deserve that, yeah, they no, must have deserved they, it. Yeah, no, they they should they should everyone should get a pay rise during the, during the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. I heard today that um, that that all our all our all our ministers got ten thousand pounds to help them work from home. <sighs> all our members of parliament got ten thousand pounds to work from home. Work being the word. I don't know. I don't know, Steve. And then you got the nurses of one one percent pay rise. They don't you know? want it. They don't want it. They've been given it. They've been yeah. given it. Do you know they'd missed an opportunity? They should have gone on strike. They should have threatened a strike when um, old f fatty prime minister was in hospital. When you say old fatty prime minister, do you mean Boris de Piffle Johnson? Yeah, I forgot his name for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but old. that's that's the time to go on strike. That was the yes. time. Oh. Uh, they, they, missed, see, they, they missed a trick. They, mm. they did. They did. They should. When he was there, right? Yeah. Right. He, they should have said, "Yeah, that's it. Give, give us a ten percent pay rise, or I'm walking, and I'm turning yeah. your machine off, <laughs> saving electricity, turning your machine off, <laughs> big fat man." Yeah. Well, that's 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 that's, that's my yeah, rant. No. 
I th- no, I totally agree with you, Av. It, 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 it's, it's good. Uh, I want you to give us one more news report before you before we leave tonight. Um, okay. Do you want to have a go at the the caption competition? I could bring Haley in. We could do we could do uh, three of sure. us doing it if that's all right with Haley. She's. Sure. I think she know. Actually, breaking news: we have a report of where Harry and Meghan are. Hey, Haley. Hello. Um, I Hi. researched it. I crawled through the internet. They live in Windsor. Win- Windsor. Windsor. <laughs> Windsor. That's in, I'm that's in, that's it in out. the Bahamas. <laughs> Windsor. They they live in. Your neck of the woods. But they don't. They left us. What? Old news. Old news, that is. They used to live in Windsor. <laughs> okay. I Googled it. <laughs> this is the best I can do. Okay. Hey, your best is good enough for this show. I'll tell you that 110%. Oh, they right. are. Okay. They're in Santa Barbara. That's insane. I did literally no, went to the second Paris. and went her down. Santa Paris Barbara is, is in California. Have you were right, you get two points. I was right. Oh, bloody hell, no, yeah, I was right about something. All right. There you go. Santa Barbara. Very fancy. That's, uh, that, that's, a quali- that's, that's, that's a female That's a female Christmas fairy. <laughs> I have no okay. idea where that was going. I apologise. <laughs> right, you two talk while I try and get me, me technical computer screen sharing business going on. Okay. There you go. There you so, Ab, tell me where you get all your news. <laughs> um, How do you research? The back, uh, back garden and the kids. Oh. Okay, I'll check out this website. <laughs> yeah, I struggled with this one, Steve. I think I'd, I was thinking Labour and Conservative. Yeah. Ah, a Labour door. Mm. Well, it's, well. No. No, I'm struggling with that one. <laughs> Haley, have you got? Have you got? Have you got? Yeah, I, I, I picture like the blue dog going. We don't need a condom. We're made out of condoms. Um. <laughs> that is that is very good. That's one one percent to Haley there. Thank you. That's very Thank very you. very good. Uh, let's let's move on to. Uh, I do like this picture. Though. Um, that one is uh, Boris saying to Harry, your grandma was going to string you up like this. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going anything, Haley? Oh I picture him going, if, if I do this, COVID can't get me, you know? <laughs> That's it. I've just got one. It's just come to me. I said, have you met my two scientific experts? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's good. Thank you. No, I'm not saying I'm good. I'm just thinking. Right. No, okay. we can say it. You're good. Oh, thank you. Swansea though is my favourite so far. Um, I don't know. I think in um, Christmas dinner. Mm. Ah. I'm thinking day one of the Swan coup. <laughs> is that like oh, a poem? Yeah. Can you no. write me a swan a swan coup? Like the takeover. <laughs> <laughs> two swan. Be careful. We better start packing there. There's two swans outside. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. Thanks so much. I'm going to see if I can. Uh, it says stop sharing, but I have to. On my screen, you see. Look. Look. See. The the mouse pointer, but the mouse pointer then has to come up here, and I have to do that. Anyway, technical. Oh. Wow. This that's is interesting. Here. It is, isn't it? That's very good, like that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Well. No expense spared there, Steve. No, that's quite nice, isn't it? All of us there. Yeah. We should we should play a game. But anyway, should we say goodbye to Av and then say hello? Is that all right, Av? You're done now. Yeah, before yeah. You go home. Oh no! Come back with one night uh, a news report before you go. Okay. Yeah. Well. All right. Thanks. But it's pre it's pre recorded, so you can go. All right. Thanks, Av. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Hayley, from Hello, Santa Barbara so cool. area. Yeah, I'm not there, but apparently they are there. I know. That's insane. So you're in um, Los Angeles. I am. I'm in uh, Echo Park, Los Angeles. So There's a song about Echo Park. Mm, is yeah. there? Band. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll do my research. I'll tell you when, we come, when you There's when a it. There's a lot of murder stories about Echo Park. A lot of mystery stories about it. Ooh. 
Yeah, it's kind of creepy. It's a really like hipster area right now, like lots of uh, man buns and lattes. But 10 years ago, tons of bodies at the bottom of that lake. <laughs> so. Yeah. Man buns and, 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 and lattes is a lovely expression. Uh, <laughs> but, but tons of bodies is even better? Yeah, even better. Bodies hit the bottom of the lake. That's, um, I think that's the song, the bodies at the floor song. So. Have you got have you have you got a lake? Are you are you by a lake? Yeah, yeah. It's so it's Echo Park Lake and it's huge and there's like a, there's swans. You know the little motorboat so, swans people take. Oh, pedalos. Yeah, p- pedalos. What is that? What you guys call pe- it? Pedalos. You oh. use your feet to pedal. Yeah. The swans. You, you pedalos and you eat biscuits. It's oh, look at you! Look at you with your posh English <laughs> accent. Pedalos, my darling. My pedalos. <laughs> <laughs> I've been practicing for the show. I was like, I'm going to try to blend in with all the other comedians. Oh, d- and d- I gave d- up. D- See, I, 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 I do like, um, I nearly said love, but that's a bit too strong. I do like meeting the Americans uh, via Zoom and stuff because like, they say, oh, you've got such a posh accent. But anybody over in this country will not ever say that I have a posh accent. Oh, really? Uh, no. Can you do a posh accent? Let me, let me be better. Let me know the difference. <laughs> I don't. One does try to do a, a posh accent. What? You just sound American. You sound like an American reading Shakespeare. Like that. To, sh- to be sure. <laughs> to be sure. Where art thou, <laughs> Romeo? Like, it, it just sounds <laughs> like you're remembering your accent at the end of the word. <laughs> Sorry. That's very true. Well, I like your oh, accent better. Ma- Mary oh. Poppins be governor. No, it's... <laughs> Spoonful of sugar. I have some medicine go down. Okay. Right. Hey, no, look, we're having too much fun. You've got to okay. do, you've got to, you've come here to work. You've come here to work. Oh, you're right. So let Ray me get rid what? of that. I'm, I'm going to remember your name. You don't have to. I don't have to. No. I've written it down. Okay. Is Kyle Davis? No? No. <laughs> from no, from Los sure. Angeles. Yes. Hayley Hackett, ladies and gentlemen, first oh. time in the head house. Oh, that's me. Hi. Hello. This, th- I have to say, this show has made me feel the most uncultured that I've ever felt in my life. I'm not very well traveled, you know, like uh, the furthest in the, the UK area I've gone is um, Ireland. And I was deeply disappointed. Now, mind you, like I have, you know, some heritage there, which they weren't interested in hearing. Uh, and that was upsetting. But more so, I've always known the stereotype that like the Irish are very good at drinking. No, no, they're not. No, they're not. Russians are good at drinking. Russians will drink like a bottle of vodka with breakfast. You know what I mean? Wash down some like oatmeal and porridge, whatever they're drinking. Uh, Like Irish people are just more comfortable being drunk. Like that's all it is. You know, they're more comfortable taking a piss in front of their mother. Like I saw that so many times. Um, So that's how I feel about that. I don't know. I we're so we're in lockdown. Everyone is, right? And like I recently fostered a dog. Um, and all my friends were like, You're a hero, right? I didn't I didn't need to foster a dog to know that. Like that was pretty upsetting. And it, it's just kind of counterintuitive because it's like I'm a hero when I foster a dog, but it's unethical for me to find a boyfriend in jail. What? It's the same process. It's the same exact process. Are you kidding me? They're both public shelters and jails. You walk in, every single one of them has a story. You know, they keep wanting to tell you their name as if you didn't already pick one out in your head. Are you kidding? If you pay extra, they get their shots and neutered. I mean, it's the same. It's exactly the same process, honestly. I don't know. It's. I feel like I'm falling back into some like domestic habits in quarantine, you know what I mean? Like I almost quit comedy, right? I almost completely quit comedy um, to find the perfect granola recipe, uh, to make sure that me and my boyfriend stay together during this, these times, during this lease. I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, if I, uh, if I add chocolate chips, will he stay with me? Like, you know what I mean? Like pecans or walnuts, what will make him stay? Uh, it's just been, it's been a lot, you know? And it's like, I'm trying to have a healthier relationship too, which is a little more difficult. Like I'm in therapy now, learning like healthy patterns, you know, I feel statements and stuff like that. Like, okay, sure. And it's like, I'm dating this nice dude. He's really, really nice. Um, 
but I keep trying to get him to treat me badly. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, could you like call us? You know, like, could you like not come home one night? Just something <sighs> so I can get a little mystery in my life. You know, it, it's hard dating a nice dude. Cause when you ask a nice dude to like slap you across the face, uh, cause that's what I'm into. They make the same face as when you ask a fuck boy for commitment. It's exactly the same. They're just like, <gasps> you know, like they just saw their dead mother's ghost like crawling at them. You know, it's just, it, it's terrible. I, I once was dating this complete fuck boy, complete fuck boy, right? And I was like, let's commit. And he was like, no, I'd rather keep sleeping with other people, which is like <laughs> dagger to the heart, you know, like, ow. Um, and it, it was pretty counterintuitive because later that night he was like, I want to put a baby inside of you. And I'm like, what? L hold on. Let's, uh, let's get this straight. Uh, you don't want to commit to only having sex with me, but you want to commit to child support for 18 years. Like, let's do a cost benefit analysis. Like, okay. You know what I mean? I surely only having sex with me has to be better than paying $500 a month, right? Hopefully, hopefully, I don't know. But my, my current boyfriend, he's getting better. You know, like he's trying, he's a sweet guy. So the other day he slapped me across the face and he was like, bitch, guys. Okay, like it was hot. It was like so hot. But then five seconds later, he was like, how'd I do? How'd I do? You know, and I was just like, oh no. <laughs> you know and it's like they're like dogs like you have to train them so I was like baby you did such a good job you did such a good job of hitting me across the face and calling me a bitch it was so good and I can't help but think about how everyone else at Home Depot felt about that interaction <laughs> like I just couldn't help but reflect on that you know I don't know I'm uh I'm currently unemployed um and the biggest issue with that is uh I don't care that's the biggest issue is I have uh, no motivation to uh, get going at those job searches. And it's made me want to become a drug addict because if you think about it, a drug addict at least always makes enough money to get their drug of choice. You know what I mean? Like no drug addict has been broke long enough <laughs> to get clean. That's all I'm saying. Um, and you know, I'll, I'll leave you guys with that just to reflect on. <laughs> My name is Haley Hack and I'm so happy to be part of the Head Nights thing. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Thanks. I like, I like, I like, no, no, no drug act has been uh, poor enough. Clean enough, or clean, clean yeah, broke long enough to get clean. Broke See, clean I forgot out. my own joke when you repeated it back to me. <laughs> I was like, whoa, like what it. was it? Um, but it's no. true. It's true. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. the scary part of life, isn't it? So many things are like, just true, on the edge. You're on the edge. Yeah. Very good. Like yeah. that. Enjoyed that much. Enjoyed that much, Lee. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad. Enjoy. I enjoyed right. the whole show much, Lee. Good, good, good. I wanted to say though, right? And I don't mm -hmm. want to. I don't like picking on people like this because. Okay, it's, it's you can pick on me. I'm not picking on you. It's the it's the expression. <sighs> did a did a boy actually say, "I want to put a baby inside you"? Yes, yes. Because I need to have a word with that boy. I'll send you it's, his social media accounts. Thank you very much. Because you cannot put a baby inside someone. Okay. You have, you know, it's basic biology. Yeah. I need to talk to them. You, and also, as a chat up line, it's not the greatest. As a oh chat up line, oh, yeah. oh flirting, okay. flirting, I'm, yes, I'm learning. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was. How's your steak? I want to put a baby inside you. It's not right. I know he he wasn't right. That's the sad thing. He yeah, wasn't no. right. There's, um, there's a lot of them around. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna cry after this mic thinking oh, no. about hey, it. Hey, if you if you do another British show, yeah. Instead of saying I want to put a baby inside you, yeah. you can say I want a baby yeah. Baby yeah. Oh, yeah. like they want to swaddle me up and and breastfeed me. That sounds like you're no. being the baby. <laughs> Have you been babbied yet? Babbied. Babbied. I think it's more of a, it's a black country expression. I think. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, I'll use it. I'll do it. I'll try yeah. it on. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Love it. Oh, it's, I, 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 you know, I'm going to get told off by, by saying that I've enjoyed myself too much. Right. No, Thank great. you so much. Uh, come back. I would love to. I would absolutely adore to come back. This is so fun. This is so oh, bless fun. You. Thank you. Well, tell all your friends. And also, you see that scan code? There's a QR code under I your do. chin. I tell see Tell people it. to scan it so we can get some money. S scan this. Pay the people. Babby them with your money. <laughs> Did I use that right? 
<laughs> Pay your money. Context. Context was no good, but thank you so much for doing that. <laughs> Okay, thank Hayley you. Hayley Hackett. Hackett? What's, yeah, it is. Hayley yeah, Hackett. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bless. I enjoyed that. Hey, now, do you know what? I know what you're thinking. You can spend hours waiting for a bus and then two come along at once. Well, how about this? We've got another American. Stop drinking. We have John Marco. Hi. How How are you? I'm, I'm fine, you know, other than being an American. No, there's nothing wrong with being an American. Oh, I, well, I disagree. I disagree. Well, well, yeah, but that's that could be with anyone, though, really, isn't it? Really? Sure. I mean, there's nothing wrong being British, is there? No, you guys have a flawless record. Thank you. Know. you. There you go. <laughs> we gave it. Yeah, and if it wasn't for us, you wouldn't have had it. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> no, it's good. No, I'm no, I'm so glad that. Uh, We've got two Americans. So, so Haley was in uh, Los Angeles. Whereabouts are you, John Marco? I'm in uh, New York City, which you might be able to tell from all the background noise of hammers and people screaming. <laughs> Is that New York? Is that uh, yes? Have you been here? No, 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 no. A lot of noise. Well, very, very noisy place. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, things are. Uh, you know, they they reopened partial indoor dining. But uh, a lot of the, the, the comedy clubs say they, they can't operate at 25% at capacity, even though I have never seen them do otherwise. Well, but, no, that's uh, what I was thinking, because if, if, if I open up, it would be half capacity. Sure. Uh, and I'd be happy with that normally. My God. You know what I mean? So, it, yeah, it's weird. But let's hope it all sorts itself out sooner rather than... Uh, sure. Sure. I got my first, I got my first shot yesterday. No, how old are you? I'm young, but I went to I went to a drugstore yeah. and they, they they expire, and so they were going to throw it away. And if you yes. right now in New York, there's so there seems to be so much that if you go, uh, they're going to throw it away. And I'm like, you know, I felt like it was the moral thing. I had a friend; no. she works at a homeless shelter, and she told me she offered. She was like, you know, you could just come work here for an hour, get it early. But I, I you know, as much as I wanted, <laughs> I, I refused to help the homeless. So yes. I. Uh, I I uh, I'm happy to have gotten it in a ethical ish way. No, no, that's no, that's what they do that here somehow. Uh, if they can find the people, if they can contact them through track and trace, they said they that they'll they'll in. run out on the street sometimes, and they'll be like, "Does anyone want the vaccine?" Because exactly. they're going to throw it away. Yeah, no. The more arms you get it in, the better, as far as I'm concerned. But I'm, sure. you know, I'm young, I'm older than you, mate. No. Good answer. You get ten points. Do you want to? Do you want to? Did you? Do you want to do the caption competition? Sure. He says sure. You know I'm going to try and do my um, my share the screen business, and I'm not very good at that. So here we go. Move that back to. Uh, oh 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 oh, and there and there we go. Do you know this is this is professionally seamless show by the way. There you go. Great. Um, Have you seen this one? Yes. So. I, we'll see how this plays and where you guys are. I don't know how important these people are to you, but for this caption, I would say uh, Prince Philip has this long to live. <laughs> That's overstretching it, I think. God bless him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Let's, I, I've gone the wrong way, so we'll go back one and then we'll come back to that again. This one, I don't... I, I promise it's just a little prick. Nice. I like That's my favourite. Oh, I shouldn't say that because all the other people did really good contributions as well. Uh, there we are. This is how I fish. This is like, that's how big the last one I was. Yeah. That's well, good. There you go. This one. Uh, uh, looks like swans for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Have you, ever, have you ever had swan? No. Is it something people eat? I'd do it. Only, only Prince Philip eats it, but it makes him poorly, apparently. So. Oh yes, yes. That's that's that's, that's the thing. Uh, good. Uh, oh, right. I was just looking at one of the comments, but I think it was related to um, something else. So good. Right. <laughs> right. John. John Marco. Do you want to do your bit, and then we'll finish the show? Sure. Sure. I'll just. Tell, oh my God. Oh yes, I will. I'm ready. I'm setting my timer. All oh, right. Sorry. Let's okay, do it. So, like, instead of saying goodbye at the end, should we just finish on you? 
Sh- sure, do you want me to, at I the don't end know I'll say. I don't know if that's rude though, but it would just work nicely for me. I'm an American, so I don't really care about being rude or not. Oh. I just I go. Oh. I say peace. Well, I'll we'll see how it feels. But thank you so much for doing this. And we will see you again, I know, uh, if you're free. But uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, first time in the hen house from New York, it's John Marco Ceresi. Is that right? All right. Yes, that's great. Hello. Uh, okay. Uh, well, yes, that's true. I did. I got the first shot. I'm so happy. I'm so sick of all this. I'm so sick of washing my hands every time I poop. And uh, it's it's been rough for me. I have uh, I have roommates, and having roommates during like a global pandemic, it's like being in an unfaithful marriage. Like every time he comes home, I'm like, "Where the fuck have you been?" Bet you didn't even wear a mask, you dirty slut. One of my roommates actually moved from China to America in January, which is like boarding the Titanic from the iceberg. I um. I, I don't know. I always knew I was non-essential, but it hurt coming from the government. I don't know what terms you guys have over there. It's very hard performing in different places. You start questioning like, oh, my God, in, in, in London, do they have lunch? Uh, I, am, uh, I am Italian and Jewish. Uh, my, my mom's Italian. My dad's – no, my mom's Jewish. My dad's Italian. You know, I, I once told um, – uh, I was on a date with a German woman, and I told her I was half Jewish, and she was like, no. Don't ever say you're half Jewish. The Nazis use that term to mean half as bad. And uh, so now when I introduce myself, I tell people I'm half not Jewish. Um, this whole thing has been very difficult for Italian social distancing because I'm sure you know Italians. We're, we're, we're a lot of hugging. We kiss each other goodbye. Not everyone likes it. I, I was dating a woman once, not Italian. And I remember the first time she saw my dad and I kiss each other goodbye she was like ew do you kiss your dad in public and i was like yeah yeah you know be weird if i only kissed him in private if i was like hey pops let's get out of here for a proper goodbye and then now when i see my dad we're, we're scared to hug we're scared to shake hands it feels like we're irish uh, now I should I should tell you I, I I hope I can make that joke because my father he was not born in Italy but he told me that in the 1930s uh, my grandpa Luigi which is his actual name uh, my grandpa Luigi and my grandma Donkey Kong immigrated here when people ask me where I'm from I'm like Nintendo I uh, I don't even know I've never taken one of those DNA tests because my name really is Gianmarco Vincent Sarezi. And if I find out I'm only like 2% Italian, I'll have to change it to something like Juigi. Oh. Someday I think that accent is going to be considered racist. You know, someday I'm going to do it. Someone, some Italian guy in the chat will be like, who the hell do you think you are? And I'll, I'll, I'll be like a smart ass about it. I'll be like, it's a me, a Mario. And then I'll get canceled. I'll have to go on Twitter and be like, I'm so sorry. Oh, this is nice. I don't need an audience I because I'm what's known as an extroverted introvert, which if you don't know, basically means like when I'm talking, I'm very extroverted. But if you're talking, I'd rather be alone. Um, I, I Once I did a show with a drag queen and she told me to take it down a notch. Um, I, uh, I, I was talking to my mom earlier today. She asked me if I threw myself a pity party. And I was like, for the millionth time, it's called therapy. I, I, I have been seeing my therapist a lot. I've been seeing my therapist uh, like this on my computer. Honestly, doing therapy and stand-up comedy on the same device is not helping unblur the lines. Um, and I don't like seeing my therapist over Zoom because I've. it's just strange because I've never seen inside her apartment before with her knowing. And she's she's one of those, she's a Freudian therapist. So every time I ask her a question, she like twists it into a question about me. Like I asked her, I was like, when are we going to start meeting in person again? And she was like, why are you under my bed? I, I think uh, everyone should be in therapy, especially men. Men are very reluctant, I think, about therapy. I have this friend. Uh, he's my age. His name's Josh. He just went through his second divorce. He's very depressed. And I was like, you should go to therapy. And he was like, nah running running that's my therapy and i was like oh that that's so cool because sushi that's my haircut 
What the fuck are you talking about, Josh? We need to treat depression like the disease that it is. Like you, you, you wouldn't tell someone with diabetes to run it off because you need both feet. I, uh, my, my father, um, he lives in Maryland, uh, which uh, you guys over there you used to own Maryland too. Uh, my, my dad wants me to quarantine with him, but I, I, I could have coronavirus even with a shot. I could have coronavirus and just be asymptomatic. Asymptomatic. I don't accidentally kill my father. I, I want to do it on purpose. Um, he's. He's living right now with his new girlfriend. And I, I like my dad's new girlfriend because we have a lot in common, like being born in 1988. But it's just strange. He likes dating younger. I like dating older. So when we go on a double date, it looks like a family dinner. But when the waiter, at the end of the night, the waiter thinks I'm kissing my mom goodbye. And he's like, they must be Italian. All right, that's my time. I think that's the end of the show. I, uh, ah. I... Yeah. No, I, I'm not going to let you go because I really enjoyed that. Oh, well, thank you. So I, I wanted <laughs> Jew Easy. Uh, Jew Easy's, uh, oh, thank you. M made me giggle. I, I'm a big Mario fan, really. And oh I, yes. I, I, so we go. It's me, Hello Easy. But I'm going to say no. Sure. It's me. Jew That's Easy. why you but you I... dressed up like him and have the mustache and everything. That's yes, it is. Thanks so much for that. It was brilliant. Of course, my pleasure. Thank. Will you come back again? And of course. I, I hope Anytime. I hope, you do, I hope you can gig more though. In um, it'll in happen. It'll happen. You know. Yeah. So is there, um, how can we find you? Uh, it's just my name, Marco? John Marco Cerezi, at John Marco Cerezi on all the things. All the things. All the things, people. John, all thank you things. so much, uh, uh, John Marco Cerezi. Um, I've had a really good night tonight, which is great. I'm, I don't have to go for a run. <laughs> so. <laughs> Thanks so much. Ladies and gentlemen, say goodbye from me and Jamarco. And I really haven't got myself queued up to press the button. So I have to do that again when I. Bye! <laughs>